So we're going to look at some examples of how you can use a TI-84 plus CE calculator to solve some ice problems. So here's an example weak acid reaction and here's an ice table where we make our initial change in equilibrium amounts and we end up with this row in our ice table. Okay, so for the reaction we showed, the Ka value should be equal to the equilibrium hydronium ion concentration times the A minus, the conjugate base, uh, divided by the conjugate acid concentration, the molar concentrations. So we end up with an algebraic expression that we're going to need to find x for that looks something like this. Ka is equal to x squared divided by 0.1 minus x. So there's some small x approximations you can do, but we'd like to see if we can't use this fancy smancy calculator to go and get an exact solution. So let's see how we could do that. So we're going to use our TI-84 plus CE calculator. So what we're going to do is we put this baby into math mode, and then we're going to go through all the way through this list here. You can just press the up arrow too. Da, 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 da. And we're going to do numerical solver. Great. So here, I can just type in this equation here, and to get the x key, I just push like this button here. So x squared, and that's the exact equation that we needed to solve. And then I made equation 2 just be the Ka value. And so what the computer or the calculator will do is it's going to go and basically find where x squared divided by 0 0.100 minus x is equal to equation 2, which is just, just 1.8 times 10 minus 5. Okay, so there's our equation, and so we're going to press OK. And so now what we need to do is we need to give it an initial guess. And we're, of course, trying to get this thing to calculate x, but we have to give it an initial x because that's how it works. So I'm just going to make up a number, and I'm going to just do 0.001. Any number that's kind of sort of close to the reasonable answer will be fine. But I, you do have to put in a number. I just kind of did something that mentally looked like about the square root of that number, but, you know, anything is okay. 0 0.01, Point, anything is fine. You, if you do 50, then it may get angry with you. And then you just press solve, and it went, and it computed just like that the exact uh, equation. So it solved the equation E1 minus E2 equals 0, E1, E2 equals 0, and it comes up with this number here, which is 1.33 times 10 to the minus uh, third. Okay, so that's how you use the, the solver function. All right, bye.